three, two, one, go. We got the Cachandra right here. We're about to put a new grill, guys. As y'all see, we got the billet grill right here. We just got it in. Looking pretty good. Right now, we gotta try to mount it. But I think it's gonna look pretty good. And now it's gonna give a little bit of matching. It's gonna look a little funny, but now since we got the new wheels, chrome ones, it's gonna match a little bit better. Also, I got some door handles. This is the other piece that goes to the bottom. Like this, pretty much. And then, well, you gotta bolt it to the other side, but we're gonna have to take this whole little piece off. Maybe even the grill. Don't mind this midget over here power washing and shit. So, something else we got is this little chrome handle. Because they can match a little bit better, too. As y'all can see, we got this one right here. And the paint's already coming off, so now this is gonna look a little better. We're probably gonna try to take this apart, put it on this, and leave the color match around so that it has a strip too. But like I said, little accents making the truck look a lot different. So yeah, just gonna have to stay tuned to the end right now. We're gonna try to install this, see how it looks. Alright guys, we got all of this out pretty much just these little tabs. Take all of them out, and you got the mold for the on this giddy. Now we can reach under here. We're gonna have to pass the screws. See how we're gonna do this right now, but should be pretty easy. Okay, guys, we got the bottom piece. As you can see, we painted it off oh, stupid just so you can't see the background, but looking pretty good so far. Pretty much, how you're gonna get them on? As you can see right there, you're gonna put the screw, and then you're gonna put this clamp, and then you're gonna put this little screw again four times, and then you're gonna do the same thing on this bottom piece. I mean, the top piece right here should be good after that, but we'll pick it up right now whenever we got this top piece on. There I was coming out guys, came out pretty clean to be honest, some of them were a little bit hard to get on there, so it didn't leave it fully straight, but it does look pretty good, matches pretty good now with the wheels, yes sir. Now what's left is just try to get this off right here, we're going to try to take it apart, I have a couple of screws that I've seen that you can take it apart, so we're going to try to and not mess it up hopefully, but hopefully we get it off, so that we put these comb strips and then we're going to start trying to get the ones off the actual truck off and then do the same process and then just swap this so that it looks a little sick but i do like the way the billet grow it's looking pretty badass it's matching pretty badass too with the wheels you know and i think this area is going to make another good little accent so gotta make sure to stay tuned we're going to try to get this done if not then we'll probably end the video but if not then yeah we're going to try to connect this and just like that it was pretty easy to take off guys there it is pretty much it has this little shit it goes through here and then another one goes through here which holds it in place and well then it has a spring which obviously i'm gonna have to try to see how to put this back on but it shouldn't be too hard i just could look it up or some shit but i took a picture also so that i wouldn't forget but yeah here's the chrome strip pretty badass it looks pretty oem too it doesn't look like it's not one of those covers either so it's gonna look pretty badass right now gotta check out how it looks all right guys you can see we got it on there it's looking pretty badass to be honest we had a freaking problem taking this shit off of here because like, I guess right there, shit, let me see if it's in. Yeah, like they put like a little end where you could like, it's fat. So you gotta like drill it out, then pull it out. And I was like a little bitch to be honest, but. One day, oh yeah, there it is, yeah. It looks pretty good. But yeah, this is pretty much just before the paint job, just so it could look pretty good with the chrome wheels. As I can see, we got the grill on already. I like the way the grill looking. It looks pretty badass. Even with the wheels, it's gonna match pretty good once you give it a good wash. Now with this, even more. I'm not sure we're gonna get those caps, but I feel like it's gonna be too much chrome. I was either choosing between this or the caps, but I think this one's gonna look a little bit better. So yeah, I think we won't be doing the caps, we'll be leaving the fluid color match, but the truck is coming out sick as fuck. There it is guys, seems like it's pretty clean to be honest. Making the wheels stand out, matches good with the wheels. Hell oh, yeah liking these little accents now we need to get this right here i want to get this off chrome so i don't have no black but as you can see everything's coming out pretty badass let's get on this side hell yeah she looks sick loving the way the truck coming out make sure to subscribe guys we got hella more content coming with the truck hopefully next we can start getting it ready for painting you know well we gotta see what we could do or well, maybe some other shit you know some shit always comes in my head i'm like you know what let's do that instead so we just have to see, but like I said, subscribe and y'all be able to see more content from one little V6. Now it's time to get this side off. God damn it. At least now we remember how to do it, so it'll be faster. Oh so, yeah.
Yeah, I know I gotta try to get this whole panel off and shit, but fuck it. And just like that, guys, we got everything back on already. We're about to screw up the rest of the thing, but there it is. Everything's working good, too. Let's take this. The moment of truth. The satisfying. Oh, shit. Oh, there it is. But yeah, everything works badass. Damn, I already got it dirty. <laughs> but yeah, everything's working pretty good. I only lost a screw on the other side, so this side right here was like a teeny bit flimsy, but this one worked out good. actually gonna get started on my wing we ended up trying to take the paint off i don't know if i showed you before but we ended up taking all this paint off because it was shipping pretty much how it is right here you see all that all that shipping right there and we're gonna try to take it off right now and we're gonna be primering it with this primer right here and then we're gonna be putting a clear coat on here and just leaving it like that till we get it painted just so it don't look pretty ugly because i don't know about black to be honest because i think it's gonna throw the trick off Still gotta sand it right there a little bit too. Pretty much already got everything sanded on the sides, on these corners too, and in between. It's just this little stripper here that we're gonna have to do. So we're about to get to do that right now. One thing, guys, is you wanna make it easier for yourself. Well, for starters, you wanna make it easier for yourself, just take it to somebody else. But if you're like me and you wanna do this shit yourself, you gotta wet sand. I mean, like, pretty much wet the sandpaper and wet it, because then it's gonna take longer doing it like that. I was doing it like that the first time. And that's why it took so long. This time it's going a little bit easier. My dad had told me that it works a little bit better like this. So we're slowly getting off. We barely even did anything, but it's already coming off a lot better. We just gotta get in here too, get all this shit, because I'll paint it over. Fuck it, but yeah, we should be done hopefully soon. So we'll pick it up right now in a bit. The thing that I want to address is that something did happen this past week. You know, is that my daughter did pass away, and I'm pretty sad about it. You know, it's, this type of stuff sucks. You know. But like I always say, you know, God has his reasons. This is obviously a reason. And I'm just glad she's happy out there and she's in heaven where she should be. But I just want to say some stuff like just because I'm doing stuff to my truck doesn't mean that I'm forgetting about her or putting her to the side or anything. Obviously, we already had a lot of time to grieve and stuff like that about her and stuff. So, But this stuff, doing stuff to my truck makes me happy. So it puts me a smile on my face. So... This is the kind of stuff that I do to get away from stuff. So just if y'all see me on my phone, don't think that I'm just all oh, forgetting about her or like acting like if nothing happened because obviously something did. But life has to go on at the end of the day and I have to do stuff to make myself happy to get away from those things because I'd rather feel happy than feel sad and be in a room and be sad, you know. So just wanted to say that because people always got shit to say. People always got an opinion to put out there and well... I don't really have to explain myself at the end of the day, but I'm just explaining myself, I guess. So it is what it is. But one thing for sure is that I'm still going to keep going on this truck build. I kind of want to put this little truck to her dedication. You know, I want to grind for her so that she could see that I wanted to give her this truck one of the, whenever she came and got older, you know. But obviously that can't happen. So hopefully just keep grinding on it and get it to where we want. And I know she's looking over me, so... I know she, I have her support, you know. Alright guys, we pretty much got all this done already. Pretty much sanded everything off. Just missing a little bit of paint right there. And this one. But that shit's a little bitch to get off, to be honest. But we're going to keep getting at it so we can get it off. And then it should be ready for paint. Or primer. Jeez guys, we're getting there already. Slowly but surely, we already got the primer. Everything looking good. I guess I missed this one spot right here. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get it right now in this next coat. Pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple more coats and then we're gonna put the clear coat. Should be pretty much it. I just wanted it to look like kind of like OEM, like if it came fiberglass-ish kind of. Cause I didn't really like the black to be honest. I feel like it throws the truck off. And I feel like with that one, it just look like it's OEM and shit. Even though it does come black OEM, but it's because it's a plastic one. It's more of the cheaper one. I bought it like, Long as time ago. Yeah, sooner or later we'll be getting that, that street concept one, one with the indent. 
I like that one, but for now we're just gonna use this one just for a little while. All right, guys, we're already putting some of the primer on there, just the first coat right now. But as you can see, we already got this side already done. Or I mean the wing little ends done. That's pretty much how they're gonna look. Of course, the wing is not perfect because obviously it's been painted already a couple times, so it's not gonna look really straight. But it does look pretty good, to be honest. And that's pretty much what I wanted, just for it to be primered with clear coat. Obviously, it's not gonna look the same, but I feel like it would look better than the black. I feel like the black's gonna take a little off of the, the paint and the wheels and the chrome accent we're kind of going with. Shit, from far, guys, it looks like, kind of, look like it's got a match. Nah, it does. Nah, I mean, it does look a little different, obviously, but it looks pretty good, to be honest. That's pretty much how I wanted it, you know? Just the primer look, just so it looks OEM. And from far, I mean, it kind of looks like it's the same color a little bit, but... That's why I wanted it because it's black. It made a big difference, obviously. You could tell it's black. And now it's white. And well, now we just need to get the rest of it so we can put the wing, but everything came out pretty good, to be honest. Got the grill right here. Need to paint this shit already because the color matches are coming off, but hey, everything's looking good, to be honest. All right, guys, this is a finished product. Looking pretty good, to be honest. Yes, sir. This is going to be it for today's vlog. I want to thank you for watching to the end. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if y'all want to see something new. Thanks for subscribing. See you guys later. Peace.